It might seem like an obvious thing to say, but we need to keep saying it. Our planet is precious. The climate stability of the past 12,000 years has come to an end. And around the world, we are now suffering from the impact. At the same time, nature is declining at rates unprecedented in human history, with as many as a million species facing extinction. Fortunately, we are now better informed about the state of the world than ever before in the planet's history. And those with knowledge and the ability to innovate can provide solutions to a great number of problems. We need solutions. We need action. And we need them now. We're bringing together some of the world's brightest minds to develop real, workable solutions. We're helping today's leaders build sustainability into everything they do. And we're training tomorrow's leaders to deliver a zero carbon future. Cambridge is a world leader in low-cost, next-generation solar cells, which convert more of the sun's rays into electricity. We're designing new types of batteries to support an energy revolution. Our scientists are harnessing photosynthesis to turn sunlight into clean liquid fuel to power vehicles and industry sustainably. We're developing natural construction materials tapping heat from underground transport to reuse as an energy source. But it's not just about reducing emissions. We must remove carbon that's already in our atmosphere. This means protecting and growing the Earth's natural carbon extractor, the tree and plant life that helps us breathe. It's time to reconstruct economics to include nature as an ingredient. Rebalancing fragile ecosystems won't be easy. It will affect how we work, how we travel, what we eat and how we live. But in a world riven with inequality, the way we do this must be fair for all. That's why we're working with governments and industries to develop zero carbon policies that work locally, nationally and internationally. If we don't change, we'll lose more than we can ever recover. It's a source of comfort to me that people are recognising their world is at stake, that the ocean is not infinitely full of food, and the ground is not infinitely full of minerals. There are huge opportunities to getting things right. The only way to operate is to believe we can do something about it. And I truly think we can.